In our video, we're going to talk about how to create this whole block that we've discussed in class. So we're really going to practice with the counter bore and counter sink and just a simple hole and even another counter bore. So the big thing right now is just to remember the symbols, right? All right, so this is what it looks like on paper. This is what it looks like in Fusion. And this is where we're headed. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'll start you, you know, a new folder inside my projects. So I'll just say new folder and create it. I've already created that. I said whole block. I will go up here and just start a new design and I will go ahead and get in the habit, right? I'm going to save this. For me, I'll call this whole block 2. Now I'll start with a sketch. Click the plane I want to draw in and draw a rectangle. Let's go back and look at some of those dimensions. So it tells me that it's 5 inches long, it's 2 inches tall, and it looks like it's an inch thick. So 5 by 2 by an inch. So let's go back to Fusion and take care of that. So I've got my rectangle, now I'll go to Dimension. And we'll make this 5. We'll make this side over here 2. And I'm going to press the E key for Extrude. And really all I had to do was type in 1 for 1 inch. So now let's take a look. We're going to go ahead and put holes in. We're going to do this a little bit different though. We're going to use points. So what I want to look at in the dimension drawing here, I'm going to put a point. It looks like about every inch there's another hole. Let's go back to Fusion. I'm going to go up here to Sketch Mode. And I'll say Create. And I'll say point. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see things better. It looks like it's right in the middle, right? It is. So we'll come out here and we'll say, all right, every inch. So there's one, two, three, four. I know there were four holes. So now I'll go to dimension. And I'll say from the line here to the point, that should be one inch. I could have used the grid, right? It would have made this a lot simpler. But just to get extra practice dimensioning. I'm clicking the line and then the point. That one was two. Line and point. That one's three. And one more. Click the line and then the point. And that'll make it four. All right, so now I've got my points dimension. Now it's time for, to put the holes in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit finish sketch now. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate it around a little bit. And I'll go ahead and I'll go up here to hole. And we've been here before, but now it's actually time to use it. So there's hole, and I'm going to click this first point. Now I need to look at some numbers here, right? So I'll go back into the drawing here. It tells me that it's a diameter of 0.25 and it goes through. It tells me the diameter is 0.5 drilled to a depth of 0.25. So let's see how that looks. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the kind of hole I need. There's simple, there's counter bore, and there's counter sink. This one is counter bore. If I needed to define a distance, maybe the hole didn't go all the way through, I would leave that at distance. This one actually does though, so I'll just change it to all. There's counter bore. We can get to the hole tap type and drill point later. For the diameter, the diameter of the counter bore. Remember, that's going to be down here on the bottom. That's 0.5 drilled to a depth of 0.25. So let's do that. So the diameter here is 0.5 drilled to a depth of 0.25. We can leave the 118 alone. The diameter of the through hole tells us right there on top it was 0.25. So let's do that. That's already set for us. So we're good. We'll hit OK. And that hole is in there now. Now you notice all of those points went away. This is really, really super important. We've already put that sketch in though, and we can get it back. I'm going to go over here to Sketches. And here's Sketch 2. This is where we put it in at. If I hit the little eyeball there, see how it shows that sketch? Now I have all my points back. Okay. If I click the eyeball again, they'll go away. So I'll click that on. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the data panel just to give us a little extra space. I'll go back up here to hole now, and I'll click this point. And let's go back and look at the, the notes on it. So this one is a counter sink. Right? The diameter of the counter sink is 0.5 and it's 82 degrees. 
the diameter of the through hole is a quarter inch or 0.25 and it says through. So let's go back to fusion. 0.5 and 0.25. So I'm going to leave on distance. I'll go ahead and say all because it does go all the way through. There's simple, there's counterbore, there's countersink. That's what we want. Now for the diameter here, we said 0.5 right there. So we said 0.5. Let's change this over, say 0.5, and then our through part, our diameter of the through hole is 0.25, so I can hit OK. Now you notice this time, because I've already turned this sketch on, my points are still there, so I'm not going to have to do that anymore. So we'll look at this third hole over. This one just says it's a quarter, quarter inch, and it's drilled to a depth of 0.5. So if I look at my section view over here, and this is really why we have it, I can see this hole doesn't go all the way through, does it? So we're looking at a diameter of 0.25 with a depth of 0.5. Let's go back into Fusion and make that happen. So hole, click the point. This one's just going to be simple right here, simple. Okay, so remember the distance we are going to use now, right? So the distance here, here's the depth, is only supposed to be 0.5. And we said the diameter the diameter of that hole is 0.25. So if we take a look back in Fusion, it looks like our numbers are set. We'll hit OK. And we've just got one more, so hole, and we'll click here. And let's go in here and look at the note. It's a counter bore of 0.75, drilled to a depth of 0.35, and the diameter of the through hole is a quarter inch. So there's our numbers, 0.75 diameter drilled to 0.35 and then a quarter inch all the way through. All right, so now we've got our numbers. Let's go ahead and get in here and fix it. Distance, we'll say all. We're going to choose counter bore this time. For our diameter of the counter boards, 0.75. Our depth, remember, was 0.35. And our whole diameter of the through is 0.25. So we're set. We'll hit OK. All right, so we now have all of those holes. Now, here's a here's an idea. Let's go ahead and hit the home button here. If we look here, we can see there's a section view, right? Now, there's a little tool in Fusion that we can use and kind of analyze some things. It's up here under inspect. If I click the inspect and I go down here and I say section analysis. I clicked it. Now it's saying, all right, pick what face you want to do an analysis of. So I'll click right here. And see that arrow? I can just kind of drag it back in here. And I can actually get a section view of that. I could go ahead and hit OK. And you'll notice over here now, under Origin, I have an analysis section. And I'm going to go ahead and create one more because I can turn this visibility off, right? And I've got the thing back. I've got the original back. Let's go do one more. So I'll say inspect, and I'll get a section analysis. This time I'll do this face. So I can go all the way down. And really what this is, is the reason it's under the inspect tab, right? We can, we can inspect to make sure everything turned out the way we want. Now if we get a particular view we like, we can hit OK on that. Notice now I have two section views, right? Or, well, I can only have one on at a time. I will go ahead and save this, right? So we'll save it, and then we'll be done.